Hello everyone, once again, this is Teacher May and I am happy to see you. Now I hope that you all still listen as you learn about the Earth's rotation and its effect. Now, do you know that during 15,000 years to 16,000 years ago, a scientist named Johannes Kepler established that the planet revolves around the sun. You look at the image. Okay, look. What Kepler established was expanded by Sir Isaac Newton. Here he is. Newton established that gravity affects the planetary motion. Look here. And now we all know that Earth has two primary motions. What are those? Rotation and revolution. Or we sign it revolution. Now, you look here as we continue discussing okay now what are the effects of earth's rotation around the sun number one the occurrence of day and night see number two second the daily rising and setting of the sun or the sun the moon and the stars and also the flow of air and water now do we know or do you know that there are different seasons of the earth now we will learn about these seasons of the earth and the effects of earth revolution or revolution now season change because of number one the tilt of the Earth's axis. Number two, the revolution around the Sun. Revolution, it describes the orbit in space. Look. Now, you must remember that Earth revolves around the sun, sun in a counterclockwise manner. It has one complete revolution and it is 365 and one four days in one year. Okay? Now, the revolution of the earth is responsible for changing the seasons. We have four seasons. One is the winter. Two is the spring. See, it's beautiful. And three is 
the summer. What do you do every summer? And the last one, number four, is the fall. The hemisphere leaning towards the sun or the sun experience summer. You look here. And the other hemisphere experience winter. See? The hemisphere facing the sun experience summer. This is how it works. When northern and southern hemisphere experiencing equal equal amount of what solar radiation equal sila this translates to spring and fall we are fortunate we are lucky that earth is is still rotating it revolves it does it is not static if it is static, this side facing the sun will forever experience summer. And this side will forever experience winter. So it's a good thing that the earth revolves. Okay? Look here for you to understand more. There are days that the sun rises early and sets late. And we have this what we call equinox. The time of the day or day and night are equal. Okay? Now, winter solstice has longer night time okay that's when we say uh, it's it's only five in the afternoon and yet it's dark that is the winter solstice now when the longer we experience longer daytime daytime that is the summer or summer solstice okay i hope you all understand our lesson again this is teacher may saying thank you take care and love you all